Hey guys, Ray here from Kinsman. We're here at uh, First Baptist in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're doing a D now. So I wanted to do a rig rundown for you guys and show you guys a little bit about what I use during live shows. So we're gonna start here in Guitar Land, and um, what I've been using is this for many years. 2000, since 2010, I've only used one guitar, and it's this one, it's a Matt Ardinger. Uh, custom that he built for me and was gracious enough to put SDG, the Solideo Gloria, in the fretboard. And that was the only inlay I asked him to do. So, uh, yeah, playing the Lawler Imperial and the Lawler Charlie Christian. And it's a semi hollow, not completely hollow, and got the bevel here for my arm and a nice slim neck. And then the slide headstock that I really like. Got a little tuner on the back because a tuner won't fit on my pedal board, but yeah, I really like this guitar a lot. This is the only thing I use. If I get in trouble, um, I do have a backup, and that is a 97 uh, PRS McCarty, and this was my first really, really nice guitar, and you can see it's um, it's been a while. It's been, it's been used, but not abused. Uh, just standard McCarty. I did take off the plate here with a buddy of mine, Austin. He thought it was a good idea. And uh, it's got a really unique sound. I really like it. So this is my backup guitar uh, for, for most of the dates that we do. So yeah, we'll go over here to Amp Land and we'll talk about some amps, the good stuff. All right, guys, so we're here in Ampland, and I use two amps. I use them in stereo, and uh, one of them is a dark amp, and this is a two rock type three, and it's got uh, six L6s in the in the power section, just standard 12 AX7s in the in the preamp. But the six L6s really have that fat tone that I really like. Um, I'm using a 210 matchless tonight, but I usually use a 410. So um, just for this specific venue, I'm using a 210 today. Um, over here for the bright side, I use a Fulton Webb Custom 31 watt on the um, kind of dirtiest channel with a 212 Fulton Webb cab. Now this is my bright sound, this is my dark sound. I know that's a little bit contrary because you got the 10s versus the 12s, but for some reason it just really works. Um, works for me. While we're here, I'll show you this. Um, I do use uh, Ultimate Ear. UE10 Pros, so they're triple drivers. I've always liked Ultimate Ear. They've really taken care of me uh, throughout everything. So um, yeah, no problems with those, haven't for a long time. Okay, so we're here in Pedalboard Land. Uh, this is a pedalboard that I made uh, just because I was learning a new staining technique called serrucing. And if you want more information on that, I'll let you know, but it's cool, I really like it. And pretty bare bones setup. I have two pedals that are always on. Um, one is the Keeley Katana, this guy right here, just a clean boost. Um, it's number 34. I got it right when they came out, and Keeley has been amazing taking care of that. I've had one or two little issues with it when we come off the road, and things get banged around a lot, like a lot. Um, maybe twice in the past 15 years has anything gone wrong, and they've always fixed it. Keeley's amazing. I love those guys. Um, second is a Dr. Scientist reverberator. And same thing, just an amazing guy, always does great things. Um, the same trip that the Katana went down, uh, the reverberator went down, so sent it to him and he fixed it right up. He's, he's an amazing person as well. Uh, from there, going to the Full Tone Wah, Full Tone, sorry. Full Tone Wah, just a standard Clyde. And uh, I use that sometimes to make those leads really screaming. And uh, it's, it's always a fun, fun thing to put on. After that, go to the Mythos uh, Mjolnir, which is a Klon clone. And there's a buddy of mine named Zach Broyles in Nashville, and he built some amazing pedals. You'll see some on Rome's board as well. Um, but yeah, just a Klon clone. Um, funny, funny story. When I finally decided to buy a Klon, um, I was putting in my order, and literally that day was the day that it went down. You could no longer buy Klons anymore. So after all the hype and stuff like that, I just decided I'm gonna go with, go with this one, and it sounds amazing. I love it a lot. After that, into the Love Pedal Zen Drive um, Custom. He he made a, I think Alf made 50 of those, and I was able to get one. Um, before that, I had a Love Pedal Eternity uh, that was made for me by Sean, and it stayed on my board just as long as the Katana. The only thing that changed was when I started using two amps a lot more, I, I wanted just 
this sounded a little bit more open. The Eternity is a very compressed, and I love it. Uh, but just trying out something new, you know. It'll always be a love pedal, but just different different shades of love pedal. So from there, uh, going into the Deco, and Strymon's kind of new to my board. Uh, for the longest time, I had a DL4 that was modded by Keeley for uh, forever. And uh, Strymon has found its way into my heart and, and really taken care of me as well. Uh, really nice people, always liking posts on Instagram, always tweeting and stuff. And they're just a really good company. So once you got my my belief in you, um, I'll support you till the till the end. So Deco, great pedal, um, got a really nice drive on it that I really really like. But the wash that comes from this side is amazing. Um, timeline, everybody knows what a timeline is. Just crazy awesome delay. From there, we're going into a DLS Rotosim, which is a rotary simulator. I don't have much modulation or anything fancy on the board, but I got to admit, I'm a chorus person, so I really like that kind of washy, watery sound. So I'll use both of those. And then out to a, a Layla, and I got to say good things about Layla too, because uh, I was having a couple issues. Same trip, same trip. It was, it was 900 miles, and... Uh, a lot of things came back a little bit shaken up, so sent it to Layla and, and they took care of me, and it was it was just a good time like with those guys. They're really really nice. Dana's an amazing person. Um, Line six G50. Um, I know a lot of people are a little bit skeptical about wireless, but this is a really great unit and it's never let me down so far. So that is my rig, George L's. Got some Mogami and some monster stuff going for the for the throws back to the amps. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this and thanks for subscribing to us. Uh -huh.